Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is Proverbs 21 4. Haughty eyes and a proud heart. The lamp of the wicked are sin. So what I want to touch on today is haughty eyes and a proud heart. The lamp of the wicked are sin. So what is these haughty eyes that the Lord talks about? Well, Proverbs 6 16 talks about things that the Lord does not like. It says there are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lion tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. So the first one that they mentioned were haughty eyes. Again, haughty eyes, proud eyes, that, that proud, haughty, look down on people, right? Why does the Lord not like this? So let's look further. Let's keep looking through the Bible. Psalm 101, verse 5. Whoever slanders his neighbor secretly, I will destroy Whoever has a haughty look and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. Now you notice they, the word constantly pairs up haughty eyes and an arrogant heart together. It's a symptom of a person's heart. But us as men, we can't see a person's heart. But the Lord knows the heart, right? And I'll, I'll read that verse in a bit, but this is this is commentary on on Proverbs twenty one four. This is commentary on it. And high look and a proud heart, the former is a sign of the latter, and commonly go together, and are both abominable to the Lord. See Psalm one hundred one verse five. A man that looks above others and with disdain upon them. So that pride reigns in him and swells his mind with a vain opinion of himself. This may be observed in every self-righteous man. The parable of the Pharisee and publican is a comment upon it. Sometimes there may be a proud heart under a disguise of humility, but the pride of the heart is also discovered by the look of the eyes. The Lord also talks about that Darkness shall, all darkness shall be revealed, right? It will come to light. So the Lord knows whether or not you would be wicked if you had the chance. And haughty eyes, it's a symptom that we can see. And he warns us about it. We already can see our heart. That's why the Lord says, if anyone says raka raka against their brother, is, is worthy of hell's fire. If anyone looks at a woman with lust in her eyes, is worthy of hell's fire. Forget just adultery. Forget just fornication. And we need to think about that now, don't we? Sometimes people think, oh, pornography is okay. Is it? No. It's worthy of hell's fire. It's definitely, it's more than just a lust in her eyes. It's searching out things. But proud eyes and an arrogant heart. First Samuel sixteen seven, and this was when the, the prophet Samuel was going to anoint David. David was the youngest of Jesse's sons, and Samuel was to find another king to anoint him. And the Lord told him, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. The Lord can see a person's heart. Now, King David, even though the Lord anointed him, right, he did not do some of the Best things. He even had a daughter. He even killed someone for their wife, right? But remember that in 2 Samuel 6, 14, 21, it kind of shows David's actual spirit towards the Lord. 
David danced before the Lord with all his might, and, and David was wearing a linen ephod. So David and all the houses in Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the horn. And so David was actually dancing in the streets naked because the ark had arrived and his wife got upset. So David was excited and it, it, it shows his heart towards the Lord. Now, David was not, he's, some people will compare David to the Christians of the day. Like, oh, David, Saul, Solomon, they had many wives. Why can't we have wives? Why can't we look at porn? Well, there's a difference. Though David was anointed and the Holy Spirit came upon him, he was not indwelt with the Holy Spirit. When Jesus Christ died and resurrected, the Holy Spirit can now indwell upon us. Upon us. If you look on the verses that I'm talking about, 1 Samuel 10, the Spirit of the Lord will rush upon you. That was that was to to uh, Saul, to to David, 1 Samuel 16:13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil, anointed him in the midst of his brothers, and the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. It was upon him, but now the Spirit can indwell upon us. And we don't have to have haughty eyes. We don't have to have a, a, a proud heart, because the Lord can change us. A commentary on this says, The indwelling of the Holy Spirit is the action in which God takes up residence in the body of a believer in Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, the Spirit would come and go from the saints, empowering them for service, but not necessarily remaining with them. See Judges 15.4, 1 Chronicles 12.18, Psalm 51.11, Ezekiel 11.5. Jesus revealed to his disciples the new role the, whole, the Spirit of truth would play in their lives. He lives with you and will be in you. John 14.17. The Apostle Paul wrote, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have ha had from God, and that you are not your own, for you are bought with a price? Therefore, therefore glorify God in your body. 1 Corinthians six nineteen through 20 So, the Lord always looked at the heart. Before Christ died he looked at people's heart the first sin was from lucifer hasatan and it was pride so when the lord sees haughty eyes it's just a symptom when he mentions haughty eyes it's a symptom for us so we can see in the mirror do we have haughty eyes do we have a proud look do we have a heart that looks down upon disdain with others do we not care haughty eyes also shows a sign of not caring not caring for your fellow man, not caring about the situation, you're above it all. The Lord is above you, and he doesn't even have haughty eyes. So why should we? So, and no, if you do have haughty eyes, ask the Lord to come into your heart. Repent. Ask him to come into your heart, and he will. Read the word, and the Holy Spirit will dwell upon you. And you don't have to be proud. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Lord, may even in your study, may we not get haughty eyes. In our deeds for you, our works, feeding people, may we not get haughty eyes. May we stay humble, Lord. And may many be saved. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.